I'm sure a lot of you can tell I have three sequences or three timelines open. I have timeline three, timeline two, and timeline one. I can switch between these two timelines really easy. If I want to take this clip right here and drop and drag it in between these two, it's really super easy to do. I simply drop and drag it. Some of you might be thinking it did more of an overwrite edit instead of an insert, and you would be correct. Let me hit Control Z. With the way my keyboard is laid out, if I hit Shift and Control, now it does more of the insert edit instead of the overwrite, or you could almost call it ripple editing. Either way will work, it just depends on what you want to do. It's nice to be able to see sequences stacked on top of one another because you can take elements from one sequence and put it into the other. I can simply drop and drag this title into this sequence down here. Some of you might be wondering how I was able to get the two sequences or timelines stacked on one another. You simply hit the plus button. I don't need another sequence or timeline, so I'll delete that. And I'll also delete this one as well. You just hit the little box with the X on it. Some of you might be wondering how I have these two sequences or timelines on this one little like window, I guess you could say. And the way that you can show more than one sequence at a time is by selecting this. See, now we're only going to see one. If I go over here, select this, now we're seeing two of them. And if I hit timeline three, now we have all three timelines or sequences in one little window. It's that easy to work with multiple sequences simultaneously using DaVinci Resolve.